So you're moving to the greater Fort Lauderdale area and plantation seems like it might be a great fit for you and your family. So today what I'm going to do is pull up a map of the city of plantation and discuss everything that you need to know about the city. Where it's located, what is it close to, what is it not so close to, where can you eat, where can you shop, and most importantly what neighborhoods can you live in in the city of plantation. So if you want to know what it's like to live in the city of plantation, we're going to get into it right now. And listen guys, stick around till the end because I'm going to be answering the most frequently asked question that I get from people that are relocating down here to the greater Fort Lauderdale area. What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel Living in Fort Lauderdale. My name is Rob Zioli and I'm a real estate agent right down here in South Florida. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon down below to be notified anytime I go ahead and make a new video. Um, I have a passion for making videos about what it's like to live and play down here in South Florida. But more than that, guys, I'm a real estate agent and absolutely love to help people with their real estate needs. So if that's you, when you have any questions about anything having to do with a neighborhood down here in South Florida or have any real estate needs, my information is popping up down below. You can give me a call, send me a text, send me an email because I definitely got your back when moving down here to South Florida. So let's get right into this video about the city of Plantation. Okay, guys, so I um, popped up Plantation, the city of Plantation on the map. So I'm going to put on my spectacles so you can see. So basically, you can kind of see it outlined right here. This is the city of Plantation. All right, so you're probably wondering, so where the heck is this place, Plantation? I'm not sure how many of you people actually heard of it. So let me scroll out a little bit, and I'm going to show you exactly where it's located in relation to... I guess Southeast Florida. So Southeast Florida really is um, anywhere from Port St. Lucie way down to, you know, the Keys really, uh, all the way down here, Homestead, down to Key Largo. So that's really South and East. But the city of Plantation, you can see right here, is kind of central to what they would call Metro Miami, which is basically well, it's actually central and southeast Florida as well, but right in the middle of the three counties that make up, make up Metro Miami, which is Miami-Dade County, Broward County, or um, Greater Fort Lauderdale, and Palm Beach. So just to give you an idea of uh, distance-wise to those areas, so let's go measure distance, right? So I'm going to put a little point right here in the middle of plantation. So we're going to take, zoom out a little bit. We'll go take this and we'll go down. So to Miami, basically, I mean, you're talking about 27 miles, basically to Miami. To Palm Beach, let's go way out in Palm Beach. Um, you know, you're talking about 37 miles. So you're really pretty central in um, Southeast Florida and really close to everything, okay? Let me close this out. Now, how do you get to Plantation? So let's, uh, let me zoom this out a little bit. So basically Plantation, it's uh, I-595, which is the interstate that goes um, east and west. You have I-95 I here, which goes north and south. This will take you down to Miami, all the way up to Palm Beach. And if you just keep going, you'll wind up in New York. And I-75 is another freeway and interstate right here which goes north and south as well. So very conveniently located, um, very easy to get to anywhere you want to go. Now, um, really, what is there to do in plantation? So let's check out um, if you like going golfing. So we'll pop in golf. So here's all the golf courses that are close to plantation. So in plantation, you have four of them right here. Uh, plantation Preserve, Jacaranda Golf Club, um, uh, where's the other one here that's davy uh it's not showing up on the map that's for Lauderdale del country club that's actually in plantation as well but you can see right here there's plenty plenty of golf so if you like golf i mean anywhere here in the county is going to be great for you but very close to plantation plenty of golfing um so as far as other activities let's check out some parks that are 
uh, near Plantation. Now, Plantation was designed with parks in mind. Um, I think there's, I think there's like a 40 to 60 different parks. There's like 600 acres of parks right here in Plantation. So you can see all of them right here. So Plantation is pretty much this right here. All of these parks right here, um, very popular parks. Volunteer Park, uh, recommend on every Saturday. They have um, a farmer's market there, which is fantastic, very popular. Um, Plantation Central Park, extremely popular. They have, geez, I think they have like eight lighted baseball fields there. Um, uh, swimming, two Olympic size swimming pools, um, big running track. Uh, basketball courts, uh, they have everything there. Fig Tree Park is another popular one. So plenty of plenty of parks around here as well. Um, how about shopping? So if you want to go shopping in Plantation, um, and Plantation is becoming very well known for its shopping. Um, incredible shopping right here in Plantation. So just in the city of Plantation itself, you have, um, well, where is this? It's not even showing up. Well, basically we have the Broward Westfield Mall, which should be right around here. I'm not sure why it's not showing up in my map, but it's basically, this is it right here. And then also right here, well actually, what, hold on a minute. Where is the, yeah, tower shops. I don't know why this isn't popping up. Westfield Mall should be right there. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's right here. Also, okay, now it's popping up. So the Westfield Mall right here, we also have the Fountains, which is another indoor mall. Uh, they also have some outdoor dining options here. Uh, very popular, very chic. Um, another great place to uh, shop. But also, this is extremely close to the Sawgrass Mills Mall. Let me type shopping in here again so you can see how high, how close this is. Okay, right here. So this is Plantation. All of this right here. And right here is the Sawgrass Mall. So this mall here is the largest um, shopping destination in the United States. So basically, the city of Plantation is becoming uh, a mecca for shopping. So plenty of shopping anywhere in Plantation and very close to Plantation for you to enjoy. Uh, what else do we have here? Another thing you need to know about is the BB&T Center. Uh, is it popping up here? B, B, and T. Right here. So you see Plantation right here. B, B, and T Center. This is where all the uh, concerts uh, come into town. So all your favorite artists come here. Also, if you like sports, uh, we have the Florida Panthers hockey team, which is right over here. So, I mean, you're five minutes away from there, from Plantation. Also, um, the Florida Marlins are in Miami, so we'll give you an idea of how far that is from Plantation, which is right here. So Plantation here, we'll do a distance again. I don't know why the distance ain't working. This is the here. Okay, guys, so... I forgot how to do the distance thing. So basically, what does it say here? <laughs> it's about 35 miles to uh, Marlins Park from Plantation. Okay, so now we know what to do in Plantation. Now let's talk about where to live. So basically I expanded this just to show Plantation. So this is the city of Plantation right here. Okay, so let's start down here on the east side of Plantation. So right here, as you can see, three very popular neighborhoods. We have Plantation Isles, Plantation Harbor, and also Ile del Sol. Now, these are very popular because um, these uh, neighborhoods have direct ocean access. Um, so basically, if you zoom out, I'm going to show you here. Um, from your home, you could have a private dock. You come down the New River Canal right here. Okay. Coming down through some beautiful neighborhoods here. You're going to pass down through Tarpon River, downtown Fort Lauderdale. Um, come right down here. And then you're out into the ocean. So extremely popular. 
uh, with boaters, obviously, fishermen, uh, very coveted real estate properties here do not last long at all. Um, now, these properties here, um, they range in price from the, uh, you know, like the mid or high 400s to about the high $800,000 range right here in this area. So if you come across here, you'll see the lots here. They're a little bit bigger. This is um, historic plantation right here. So they have some very uh, large lots here. You can see some of these are acres, a half acre lots, a um, little bit older homes, but you know, um, very, very popular area. Some ex uh, huge mansions in here. Um, price ranges over here, anywhere from the 300,000s up to the multi-million dollar range right in here. A uh, very popular area. As you come a little further west, um, right to here, where's Cleary? Right in this area, right here. This is a very, very popular uh, senior community called um, Lauderdale West. So uh, Lauderdale West, they have homes that um, uh, basically between 200 single family homes, between $200,000 and $300,000 right in here. They also have attached, um, I guess you would call them, I guess they're called condos, really, but they're kind of like attached apartments, no garage, so it's um, one story, not really like a townhome, and they're about a 150 range right around there as well. Now, if you come across a little bit more west right here, coming all the way down, let me zoom out a little bit, all the way from here, all the way down to here, this is called the Jacaranda area and also Jacaranda Lake. So you can see a lot of the canals here. And uh, this area is extremely popular. Um, people that want to live on the lake because it's known for its big, wide lake views. Um, homes in this area, they go between, you know, mid fours up to the high $800,000 range. Um, Plantation Central Park area. This is another very popular area very popular park, but around here, they have a lot of condos, um, townhomes, uh, a lot of different uh, single family homes, uh, two, a lot of two story single family homes, really tight lot lines. I don't really like the single family homes in that area right there because they're just too tight. You have no yard, um, you know, uh, there's, Chelsea is a very popular community as far as townhomes right in here. Um, as you come down a little bit further here, this is called Hawks Landing. So as you get a little more west, actually, um, properties uh, seem to get more expensive. This right here is a very popular gated community called Hawks Landing. Um, so in Hawks Landing, you got properties that range anywhere from the 600s to the multi-million dollar range. Um, uh, very exclusive gated community. And then as you go even further west here, you're gonna see right from here, all the way down. This is called Plantation Acres, and it's a very, very uh, desirable community, very unique community because it's an equestrian neighborhood. So basically, there's a lot of ranches there. People have uh, large lots, uh, horses, cows. Um, you know, so it's a very uh, diverse community as far as types of properties. But anywhere over here from six hundred thousand dollars to the multi-million dollar estates. Um, homes in here are mostly on one acre and larger lots, some on half acre lots, uh, but very, very uh, cool community. One of the few equestrian communities in all of greater Fort Lauderdale. Um, so uh, basically, I was talking earlier about a question I get answered or asked all the time from people that are thinking of moving to um, to plantation area or the greater Fort Lauderdale area. So they asked me, what's the best neighborhood in Plant Station to live in? What's the best neighborhood in greater Fort Lauderdale or Broward County uh, to live in? And that's a really, really, um, really, really hard question to answer because everything is so condensed and so close here. So let's just say um, I put a point right in the middle of Plantation again here, okay? So basically, all the way across to the beach, you're talking 8.37 miles, not very far. So the furthest point west and western, you're about 10 miles. So it's like 18 miles across the whole county, okay? 
Now to go to the furthest point north in the county, which is pretty much right here, uh, Portland, so it's right there. So what does that say? So that's like 13.6 miles. I did down to Miami. You're at another 10, so it's 23 miles uh, north and south. So everything is extremely close. Each of these neighborhoods or cities in Greater Fort Lauderdale, I think there's 31 of them, all have something different. Uh, they all offer something different. So it's it's really hard to say, um, you know, what what is the best area? It really comes down to what you want to be close to. Everything is close here. A very popular neighborhood here, Plantation. We got Davie, Weston, Coral Springs, Parkland, uh, extremely desirable in the area. Uh, Pompano Beach, Deerfield, the, uh, Fort Lauderdale itself, the city of Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, Pembroke Pines. There's just too many uh, to name. So you really need to um, know exactly why you're moving here. But definitely give us a call and hopefully this sheds some light on uh, what it's like to live in Plantation and what's close to Plantation and other areas you can possibly move to. Thanks. So again, it's all about lifestyle and location and you're moving down to the greater Fort Lauderdale area for a reason. And this is exactly what we're experts at. What we do is we schedule a time to talk and we ask you a bunch of questions about what's most important to you about your move. Is it the schools? Uh, do you want privacy? Do you want space? Um, do you want to be on a canal or on the water? Are you relocating for a job and want to be close to it for the commute? Once we get this information from you, we can pinpoint the perfect area for you. And it might not even be in plantation. It might be in a city that you might not have ever heard of, but might be just perfect for you. But again, in order to do that, you got to reach out so you can give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I'm open 24 seven for inquiries and I look forward to hearing from you. And until the next time, I'll catch you on the next video.